Let me try to go back and see what happens. Okay, I don't know how we are, but we're now live. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank Hi, you guys for your patience and joining us. Um, thank you guys for joining us tonight. We're talking about a hot topic tonight. We're going to be talking about basil and balance and balanced deodorant and bergamo and the beautiful body mist and birch and all things about those. So, um, so to those of you who are joining us live, Jennifer is welcoming you from Houston, Texas. I'm welcoming you from Camino, California today on an apple tree farm where my boys have been picking organic apples um, and have been enjoying just riding out on the farm today. But I'm going to go inside because it is starting to get a little chilly in here. I mean, chilly <laughs> out here. And um, so we're so excited and thankful that you guys are joining us. And um, Jennifer and I have been been prepping through this and want to be covering your most requested topics, of course. So uh, let me turn this off and and let's get started. Yay. Okay, so we're talking about some really cool beauties tonight. Mm -hmm. I like to start calling my oils beauties. Um, um, but we do have a gift for those of you who have tuned in with us at the beginning. For all of our friends out there that who may be suffering some, from some hormonal imbalances or um, weight management struggles, stress, brain fog. You're trying to support your thyroid health, sleep issues. Is everybody like, oh my gosh, does that apply to everybody? Which is everybody in the world. <laughs> okay, so this gift is for you, right, Jennifer? Yes, um, so is. those of you who maybe know Dr. Marisa Snyder, um, she is um, a phenomenal um, leader in doTERRA, but she is also a um, doctor of chiropractic medicine, and she is joining 29 other expert doTERRA leaders for five days of free hormone balancing information. This is Dr. Snyder's wheelhouse. This is where she shines. In fact, this is where she actually spoke at doTERRA's convention about hormone balancing, and so she's doing an amazing online event this month month where you can get cutting edge information on how to naturally balance your hormones with your essential oils. So um, actually, Jennifer, are you able to copy that link? And we can put yes. that in the comments for, um, for those who have joined us at the beginning. You can listen to all 30 of the talks for free. And what's even cool is you're going to have even more cool is you'll have a, an option to purchase um, the talks if you want to listen to them at, at a later date or for longer. And all of those profits are going to go to doTERRA's Healing Hands Foundation, specifically for the Days for Girls Foundation. Um, and their goal is actually to raise $50,000. So, um, so you can register to listen to that for free in the link that Jennifer is sharing in the comments below really all women need this information. So I can't wait to hear it myself. So isn't that exciting? Okay. You know what? I hate, let's see. All right. There we go. Were you able to get it? If not, yeah. I think I can grab it. Sherry was saying that she couldn't see us. And so I just want to make sure, but I see us live now. So I think everything's okay. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to get the link in there. It's it keeps wanting to default to Rachel Hollis instead of just putting the link in there. So um, <laughs> what is that about? How funny. Um, just because we love Rachel Hollis, you know. Yes. Okay, Erlene, you said you see and hear us okay on Zoom. So that's good. Um, okay, yeah, I see us here. Okay. I Hi, Sherry. You said you could see us. Good. It keeps defaulting to Rachel Hollis for me. That's so strange. Okay. Okay. I'm going to copy in into the comments and see if we can get a different result here. Yeah, um, it's not working for me. <laughs> okay. So while you're doing that, I'll go through um, the poll tonight. So awesome. We asked you guys. Um, 
What are the things that you're most interested in knowing about tonight? So we're talking through the Bs. This is B1 and next week is B2. Um, so what kind of comes at the beginning of the Bs is balance, balance deodorant, basil, bergamot, and birch. So the questions were, how can I pronounce bergamot? Sound like I'm from Italy. Um, does the natural deodorant really work? Are there any other benefits to basil other than cooking? What is birch for and how do I get it? And then what do you use balance for? So our top ones tonight, uh, you guys wanna know about birch and how we can get it. So we're gonna talk about that. We are gonna talk about the benefits of basil besides cooking and does the balance deodorant really work? So here we go. Yeah, so let's dive in. Okay, um, so we're gonna talk birch first. Right. Do you have yeah. your birch sitting there, Amy? Because I do not have my birch sitting I there. I do. Now it's a little five milliliter. It is. It's um, a little five milliliter. It's the way it comes and it comes with the little the little safety cap on it. Yep, it does. Okay, so here is the trick about birch. And Amy and I both feel a little conflicted about this because the thing is you can't buy birch. Um and it's a very special oil. Usually the way that you get it is you go to convention and it comes in your convention kit. It's one of the perks of going to convention because you can't get it any other time of the year. It, and why is that, Jennifer? Because- I mean, is doTERRA just trying to be stingy? <laughs> yes, because doTERRA is so stingy. No, because it takes a lot of birch to make birch and the demand for it would be so great. It is an oil that's got the same active ingredient as wintergreen. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what it does here in a minute. Um, it's sourced in Canada. And this year we were surprised at convention because we actually weren't able to get birch. But the reason for that is because the weather. The weather did not cooperate with us and it affected the quality of the crop and the quantity of the crop of birch. And so this year we actually didn't get it in our convention kits. Um, but it's an oil that is phenomenal for pain relief. It's great when you need additional bone support. Um, it's just very kind of soothing, especially if you've got, you know, you're just kind of tense and, and that kind of thing. Um, you can put it in um, your gym bag on a cotton ball. That actually helps to kind of get rid of odors that might hang out in a gym bag, if you know what I mean. Um, and it helps to kind of clear your skin. It's great for oil hygiene. And emotionally, it supports people that feel like they are not supported or feel that sometimes maybe they're being attacked by people that they know, whether it be family, um, friends. And then on the flip side, it also helps people to really be able to kind of connect to their ancestry. Okay, so... Unfortunately, it's not one that you can get all the time. It is one that typically you will get in the convention kit. doTERRA was super upset that they could not give it to us this year and we actually got lemon myrtle instead, which was awesome. Um, and there you go. So we we kind of are stingy with our birch and we, <laughs> and we hang on to it and uh, use it sparingly. Yeah. And you know, it's not actually even a very, it's not a huge pricey oil like, um, I think doTERRA has, has valued this at $39 wholesale mm -hmm. amount for mm -hmm. a five milliliter. So it's kind of in the middle of, there of, of how much um, the cost value is. But um, for those of you, since most of you probably do not have this, um, the aroma is very similar to what you would smell with your winter green. Yep. Um, and you'll see here on the screen here, it says diffuse three to five drops of citrus bliss for a nice root beer aroma. That actually is true. If you want that to surprise your kids or if you really love that root beer aroma, um, you can you can diffuse this with your citrus bliss and get and get that same effect. Yeah. Um, and so if you don't have birch, what do you do? If you don't have birch, you make friends with somebody that does have birch. That's, <laughs> that's like the best thing you can do. Make friends with somebody who has birch, and I, I will tell you guys that if you need birch, you come talk to me because I have a couple of them that I save, and um, yes, so make friends with somebody who has been to convention, who has birch, and can either make you a roller, give you a little bit, whatever the case may be. That would be your best way to get it. 
So in addition to our Micah's bone fix mix, since he still has a broken bone, some of you guys saw a couple of weeks ago that he has a broken arm um, and actually it's healing much faster than it should be, which we fully yeah. expected because he were using oils with him to expedite the healing process. But this is what we've also been using in addition to his, his, um, his little blend that we made for him as well. Mm -hmm. Great for bone support. Yeah. If you need to substitute something, the best substitute would be probably winter green yeah. um, because it's going to have similar benefits, not exactly the same, but similar benefits. So, um, so that's birch and we love it, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially mm -hmm. now since we did not get it at, at this year's convention either. Another way that you can get it is hopefully if you come to um, the 2009 doTERRA global convention, hopefully you'll get this. And maybe at some point doTERRA will be able to source this in. I mean, there's a lot that goes into sourcing, you guys. It's not just about the material it's about um the species and the subspecies and the harvesting methods and things and so um we can't always we're we're going by what what god brings us you know doTERRA doesn't make these oils god does and doTERRA just bottles them so <laughs> yeah so um so there you go well let's talk about let's talk about um should we talk about balance next or we should we talk about basil um, well, we could do either. Do you want to talk about the deodorant or the oil? All right. Let's talk about deodorant. Okay. Let's, let's go there. Now, those of you who joined, uh, who are members, are customers of ours in the Essential Life Tribe know that we've already talked about this a little bit. Uh, maybe it was last week or the week before. Nope. And um, now, doTERRA's had a deodorant out for quite some time, a natural deodorant. And actually, to be honest, many of us were not impressed with it. Um, and um, doTERRA's founders have been researching for quite some time since then, um, for several years now, like, what, what are you guys using? What, what do you not like about the deodorant? What is not working? And honestly, you, it was something that you had to reapply several times for it mm -hmm. to even work. And, mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of people have used, you know, if they wanted to go the natural route, a lot of people will use like primal pit paste. Um, for many years I've used um, or tried to use, um, I tried to use some of the natural ones and they never worked for me and or my husband and so we finally went with our own DIY version and that's what we've used for the last couple of years and it's actually very similar ingredients to what is in this right now that doTERRA has now relaunched now um the one of the executive founders Emily Wright um she said she's tested all the natural deodorants out there from primal pit paste to of course doTERRA's previous version. Um, she said she usually breaks out with um, versions that have baking soda in them. And this has baking soda in it, but has not had any breakouts from this new one and has not had to reapply for odor or anything. Now, those of you guys who know Balance, you know it's a nice, kind of unisex aroma. I mean, men and women alike love it. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'll tell you what's in here. Let me see. I think I've got a. Well, and while you're doing that, here. I was going to say for, um, for some of our new newbies. Yes. Do we want to be using a natural deodorant? Because many brands of deodorant that you can buy have toxins in them. And as you start to know more, you want to change more. And so, you know, like I know for us four years ago, I was using commercial everything, commercial cleaners, commercial deodorant, commercial stuff in the shower, all of the above. And anybody that comes to my house now is going to see that that's not the case anymore because making changes like this to a deodorant that smells amazing, by the way, um, is a really, really smart choice and it keeps you healthier and happier. Yeah, it's hard to believe that just simple shifts like switching out deodorant can make a big impact in your health. Yep. Um, and so if you can make one switch tonight, I encourage you to switch out your deodorant. Now, um, toss out the commercial 
and try mm -hmm. to sub in something that does not contain the harmful ingredients that Jennifer's talking about, the aluminums that have been linked to Alzheimer's disease um, yep. and cancers, uh, parabens, phthalates, talc, all those things have been linked to harmful effects on your body. Um, now this does have, so it has um, all of the oils that are in balance. So it has some tree oils, spruce, whole leaf, frankincense, blue tansy uh, for you, Jennifer. And I'm telling you, so, so Jennifer and I have both have two different perspectives on using this. Mm -hmm. um, and so we can help you a little bit with that. Um, I have been using a natural deodorant, a DIY version for several years now, and it was easy for me to make this switch. In fact, I probably will use, continue to use this and not my DIY version just because it's so much more convenient than mm -hmm. making something, even though the one I made doesn't take long, it's still just much more convenient. And so I'll probably use that as a backup if I run out or something. My husband also switched and we have not had any odor. Um, now, of course, this does not, is not an antiperspirant, but that's a good thing because we need mm -hmm. to have to, we need to sweat out those toxins. But Jennifer has a different um, perspective because she is actually making the switch from a commercial deodorant. So nice. tell us about what you're doing, Jennifer. Okay, so basically, um, you know, when, when the other deodorant came out, I, I tried to make the switch. And for you guys that don't know, that have been using commercial deodorants for a really long time, when you go to make that switch, you're kind of detoxing, right? Why? Because there's toxins. And so we're trying to get rid of the toxins. So when I tried the other deodorant, it didn't really work for me. I went back to using a commercial deodorant and every year at convention, my roommate would make fun of me because that was the one non-doTERRA thing that I carried in my bag. And so she, she told me she was going to tell everybody that I was using commercial stuff and not ours. <laughs> whatever. Uh, but so this year switching to the balance deodorant has been amazing for me. Now I will say that because, um, because I am in the process of making that switch right now, it takes time to be able to, to do that. And so I'm reapplying it a couple of times a day right now, but you know what, it's still working amazing for me. And one other thing that we have found out about is, so you can actually use doTERRA's mud mask to do a armpit detox. And so I'm going to try that out and see what happens. Yes. So Jennifer's going to report back to us. Hopefully she can maybe report back to us next week on how that's going. I'll and, work on that. Um, but you can make the switch. And even if you don't want to switch to doTERRA's deodorant, the beauty of having your oils is that you could make your own if you wanted to, Absolutely. just like we've done before. Um, and you can find... Um, if you follow us on our YouTube channel at Three Life Essentials, um, you can find our, um, they'll also be coming up on our website, but you can find that um, video where I've shared about how we make our own deodorant. So um, I'm, I'm laughing because Arlene said, hey, Jennifer, I'm your friend, LOL. Should I add wintergreen to the bone mix? Yes, Arlene, you can add wintergreen to the bone mix or you can message me after and maybe I'll send you some. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Uh, what else are we talking about? Oh, I think we're going to talk about, I mean, who doesn't love basil? Who what? loves basil when they're cooking? Comment below if you love cooking with your basil. Um, I do, even even like fresh basil, although I don't use it as much anymore. I use just the essential oil. But are there benefits to basil other than cooking? And actually, did you even know that you can cook with your basil essential oil? <laughs> yes yay yes we can um okay i'm trying to remember you're talking about basil <laughs> i'm talking about basil thank you for helping me out here girl um yeah, it's real around here like <laughs> hey this is live this is what you get with the live hey we always said this was going to be casual right we did um, Okay, so let me pull up here. Let's talk about basil for a little bit. So this, um, for doTERRA, they source this from the basil leaf um, and it's steam distilled and um, it has kind of a spicy herbal aroma to it. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's very um, 
I didn't know if you guys knew this, but I didn't know this. The basil actually comes, it's inside the mint family. So when you smell it, you can, you can smell kind of those undertones of mint. Um, but, um, but here's the things that, yes, you can use your basil for cooking. Now you only want to use maybe like a toothpick of amount or maybe one drop um, max. You really don't need that much at all. In fact, I've subbed most of my spices. I don't know about you, Jennifer. I've subbed most of my spices with this. When it calls for a, a spice recipe, my, my cumin or whatever, I don't have, go to the store and buy my cumin. I just use my oil because these don't, you know, your spices, if you don't use them, they go bad. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't tell you how many spices I've had to throw out, but I don't have to throw out my oils. So um, so I, you can use this oil aromatically, topically, and internally, but other than cooking, here's where you're going to love this oil. Um, anytime you have that earache or that ear discomfort, either from your kids or for yourself, this applied topically on the outside bony part of your ear, um, definitely, definitely diluted if you're doing it for your little one. And I like to either apply grapefruit or melaleuca on top. If you know that it's like allergy related or something, you can even put it on down through down the jaw or down the neck because that will help with the eustachian tube and the drainage. Mm -hmm. um, I've had several times where I've had my oldest has had kind of an acute ear discomfort and was is a little dramatic. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. So we layered this. We layered this and uh, melaleuca and grapefruit on. Probably we applied each one, and I layered it on probably every three to five minutes for about fifteen minutes. And then once I was able to get that acute just discomfort away, then I was able to back off and do it, you know, every 10 or 15 minutes, then every, then every hour, and then, you know, a few times a day. Um, and then actually, after a day, it was fine. Um, but you'll find that this has a lot of um, anti inflammatory properties, and can be really soothing for that kind of pain. So think of this as like also your help with ear discomfort and pain. Um, and then also one of the other really go to's for us, especially for me when I was um, nursing our twins, this oil is very good at helping um, not only increase milk production, but also help the fattiness of your milk. So if you are a mom who is nursing and you know that you need to at your your doctor's baby said maybe you need to add weight to your baby. You need to have you need to have fattier milk. It's too thin, whatever. Basil can actually be a really great go to. Now you want to be careful because it can, if you use it too much or too often, then you can actually end up having some clogged milk ducts. But um, there's also ways around that too with your oils. So so just I would apply it diluted to to the breast area, avoiding your nipples. Um, after nursing sessions. And that's when you can use it to help with that. Um, it's also great in gardening, you guys. I'm not a gardener, so I can't give you a whole lot of tips about that. But um, but I know people who garden and they use it for that too. Um, and one other use, because who knew that our basil could be used for so many other things other than cooking? I did not. No, listen to this story by Dean. He said he was swimming and he had something that he thought was a leaf on his arm and he got stung by a wasp and he knew that basil was good for different insect bites and even snake bites. So he applied a drop after pulling out the stinger and he said he got almost immediate relief. Um, and then he said he put another drop on, you know, just because. <laughs> um, and he said that held him off for an hour. Um, and then he said it did swell a little bit, but it didn't hurt. And then he just kept using the basil um, to help him with that. So um, that is also another great go-to mm -hmm. use for your basil. Um, so who knew it could have all those uses? That's so awesome. I definitely did not. That's why you were talking about basil. <laughs> uh, Sherry, you said you love basil. What do you, what do you use your basil for, Sherry? 
Yeah, what are you doing with your basil? She's probably using it like in, um, my guess is like in a salad dressing or something. I may be, yeah. maybe using it. Um, so we have two uh, uh, more things we want to talk about. You want to yeah. talk about bergamot? Yes. Bergamot. Bergam bergamot, bergamot, however you want to say it. You sound fancier if you say bergamot. Because um, it is sourced in Italy. So if you want to sound... It if you is. want to sound like you have gotten it from Italy, <laughs> you want to call you it did bergamot. Not, you did not sound like you got it from Italy. And I'm not going to sound like I got it from Italy either, but that's okay because it comes from Italy and that's all we have to know. Um, <laughs> okay, so we are, number one, we're going to be sharing um, our favorite diffuser blend, bergamot diffuser blend, on the Facebook page later tonight. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, so bergamot is like calming soothing. It is one of the ones I use every night before I go to bed. Um, super calming. It can be great when you are, if you can get away with diffusing at work, even at home when kind of stress and tension is high, that's a good time to pull it out. Um, kind of brings harmony back to the body and it mixes really well with like lavender, patchouli, um, lime, and our vitae, which we talked about last week, right? So emotionally, what it does for us is it helps to relieve feelings of despair or self-judgment, helps us to love ourselves a little bit more. And it also helps when we have low self-esteem. Okay. So it's, it's phenomenal for that. Like I said, it's one I use every night before I go to bed. I absolutely love it where I apply it is on the back of my neck, kind of right here by my hairline, but you could do bottoms of the feet, you could do your wrist, you could do it behind your ears, you could diffuse it. Um, there are so many different ways that you can use it. And so we actually had a uh, testimonial from a woman named Amy, and she said she was actually surprised by how much she could use it. She found that she's using it nightly and it helps to kind of calm her nerves. And she had even said, I believe when I read that, that she had issues with waking up in the morning, kind of her, her heart rate would be elevated and she would just be real, you know, a little, little stressed. And this really helped her to not feel that way anymore. So it's a phenomenal oil. I think it's one that doesn't get used nearly often enough because it's one that I absolutely love. Yes. Yes. Now yep. let's talk a little bit of safety information with bergamot mm -hmm. um, for just a minute. It is a citrus oil. Yes. Um, so usually we say, put your citrus in your water. Yep. I, I'm not so big on my bergamot and water. <laughs> I prefer the other citrus oils. <laughs> yes, um, but bergamot does have a lot of chemical constituents that make it very photosensitive. Absolutely. Meaning that if you do apply it to the back of your neck, like Jennifer mentioned, make sure that you either have long hair or your hair is covering that area mm -hmm. if you are going out into the sun. Mm -hmm. um, because wherever you apply that area, apply the oil to that area, your body will be sensitive to the sun for up to 72 hours, I think. Um, yes. This one has the longest time frame. So doesn't apply if you're using it aromatically or internally, mm -hmm. um, just topically. So, mm -hmm. and it also doesn't apply if you're applying it to your feet, then, you know, you're wearing shoes. It's not going to create photosensitivity. You're just not wanting to put it where the sun is shining on it right. um, or put it on and go lay it out in a tan bed because you will, you will burn for sure. No, I put so, it on before I go to bed. <laughs> yes. I'm using it. Yes. Yes. Um, Okay, so uh, the last two things we want to talk about, let's talk about a brand new product that doTERRA just released. Um, it's called the Be Beautiful Hydrating Body Mist. Yes. Now, this is, actually, do you have your beautiful, bl oh, you know what, I may have it. I do, I have a beautiful blend right here. Wait. Yes, oh, let's hold it up together. <laughs> hold, no, I thought I did. Okay, somebody, somebody in my house, uh oh, um, no names mentioned, but um, he really likes it. And um, yes, we fight over them. Yes, I have he's in my house that really like this blend, too. Mm -hmm. This blend um, was actually um, originally given out at one of doTERRA's galas. 
a couple so. of years ago and everybody loved it so much that um they had it out during the holiday time maybe last year was that when it was it was, it was the holiday time they had like a little holiday clutch and i bought the maximum which was four of them I feel <laughs> yes. we have a problem so, at my Yes, so comment below if you actually own one of these blends. They are very rare um, because some of you, if you've either attended gala or you purchased it from the holiday catalog last year and you were able to get it. Um, I think ours is about this. We have this much left and I think we have one more bottle. Um, rumor has it that they may have these again at the holiday time, but you cannot purchase this blend. And the reason being is, let me tell you what oils are in this. What oils are in this, Jennifer? Um, it's lime. Yep. It's fractionated coconut oil, lime, uh, bergamot. Yep. And frankincense. Yep. And, oh, and osmanthus. And I and think the osmanthus is what keeps this blend from being a permanent product for doTERRA. In Correct. fact, they tried really hard to make that happen and they couldn't. So, but they were able to provide this blend in a body mist. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see that here. So this is meant to put on like right after you get out of the shower because it has those oils in it, but it also has coconut oil, sunflower oil, and passion fruit seed oil. So really, oh, and avocado oil. So mm -hmm. really great for the skin. And what's really cool about this spray mist is that you can spray it upside down, sideways, diagonally. You know, if you're spraying on different parts of your body, <laughs> it will still it will still spray. Um, and this is actually available in the Dream Tour Kit that DoTerra has right now, where if you order this. Um, I think it's about $330 worth of products and you get it all for $230. Um, so Erlene, you have this blend. Oh my gosh, you just opened it. <gasps> Open it and start using it. Good. So okay. it says it smells like key lime pie. This, yes, a little bit like key mm -hmm. lime pie. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, so I love using this. So when you get it, just set it. Don't do not do like Jennifer and keep forgetting to use it. Set it <laughs> set it near your shower or wherever you take your bath or whatever so you can have it right there and ready to spray on. And it just gives your body just this nice, nice healthy glow and very hydrating to your skin. So um, I'm going to okay, do last, it. Um, let's talk about balance. Oh, yes. Let's talk about balance. I heart balance. Would you like to talk about balance or shall I? <laughs> um, why don't you talk and I'll tell about some stories. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so balance, you guys, all of the oils that were listed in the deodorant are the ones that are in the blend, including blue tansy, which is not my favorite. I have to be honest, blue tansy, we'll talk about, Amy's gonna talk about blue tansy next week. I'm not going to. Um, it's not my favorite, love what it does, <laughs> just not my favorite smell. But balance, oh my goodness, you guys. So it is, it's called the grounding blend. And so what that means is kind of imagine like, you know, you're, you're middle of the road, you're here, everything's fine. And all of a sudden one day you have a really bad day at work and you're kind of up here. You're like just really irritated and, and not happy. Or on the flip side, you're really down in the dumps and you're down here. Well, what balance does is it brings you back up here. Or down here, depending on the case. Um, it is one of my absolute, like in my top five, this is one of my top five oils and really probably it's in my top three. Um, it smells amazing. It is not one that you take internally, uh, but it is amazing in the diffuser. It's amazing on the skin, um, especially one to use before you go to bed. It's another one of the ones I use at night before I go to sleep. And it's just, it's phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about it. It is, um, yeah, it's its one of our favorites here for sure. Yeah. Hey, and if you're just now joining us, don't forget to go back to the beginning. Or if you're watching on the replay, don't forget to go back to the beginning because we shared an amazing hormone, free hormone balancing webinar that you can access. And we gave you the link there and told you a little bit more about it. Um, you're going to want that for sure. Um, yes. In fact, balance yeah balance is one of my um i would say top 
top 13 oils that I use. I use it on a daily basis. I have it, I keep it right up here in my cabinet where I get right before I start um, any of my work time. I put it on my feet to just really kind of set, um, set my stress level and balance me out like Jennifer was saying. Um, but listen, Jody said that her cousin had epilepsy and he was struggling with some medication induced insomnia and it was lap for years. Um, and she started him, um, using balance and then also the serenity in the diffuser and then also doing the serenity soft gels and he's been sleeping and she was blown away. Yep. Um, and then Sandy said that her Pomeranian, um, gets to lick her hands when she's applied balance and she said it calms her down from that overexcited snorting that she does and then she said now if I could only figure out what to do about the happy pee <laughs> anybody else have little fur babies that have the happy pee <laughs> oh you just gotta love it although I have to say going back to that first testimonial yeah uh, you know, it, Jacob had epilepsy. We didn't know about essential oils at the point in time where he was he was dealing with that. I wish that I would have. I really, really do. Um, it's part of the reason why I'm so passionate now about trying to help people because I can tell you guys, there were so many nights that I laid awake because he was awake and he was basically like the cousin in this story. He was not sleeping maybe but two hours a night. And one of our very first experiences with oils was balance. It was one of the ones that he needed the most when we first did the oil experiment. It was one of his top four. And what that, so it's, you know, not only does it smell amazing, but it has a very, very special place in my heart because I've seen what it could do for Jacob. And then once I saw what it could do for him, that's when I was like, huh, maybe it can help me too. Um, cause you know, I was a single mama with a kiddo who was really struggling emotionally at that point in time and quite honestly, didn't want to be here. And to be able to know that we have things like this available, it's phenomenal. Like, yeah. it, you know, like that, it, it literally changes the course of your life. And that's part of the reason why I'm so passionate now about telling other people about it because I know what it's like to be the one that's sitting there praying for something and feeling like you have no resources and yeah. not even knowing that this stuff exists. Yes. Yes. Um, so many moms and parents out there still praying and, and being frustrated and, and looking for something. Um, so it, what if you are, if you're new to oils or you're new to doTERRA, um, what can you do? Well, the first thing you can do is we, we're here to help. Um, mm -hmm. So you can comment below with the word newbie. And um, one of us would be happy to reach out to you, help you kind of figure out um, what your specific needs are. We want to learn about those. Um, we want to share some recommendations for you. And then you can figure out if this is the right fit for you or not. Um, so um, next week, we are joining continuing doTERRA A to Z. We're going to be talking about sinus issues and stuffiness relief um, with breathe. We're going to be talking about strong bones. Anybody need some support with their bones, even more so than your birch? Um, we're going to be talking about overcoming addictions and even more, even more. So we're going to be talking about it's going to be brought to you by the letter B part two. <laughs> Sounds like um, we're playing bingo. <laughs> do what? I said it sounds like we're playing bingo. Yeah. <laughs> Erlene, you said you made a roller of balance and you keep it in your bathroom so you don't forget to use it every day. Yes. Yep. Hook it to a habit. That's what I've seen that is yep. key at using my oils. I have been spread out all over my house. Well, that used to be a big deal, but I guess living in a fifth wheel trailer is not saying much, right? <laughs> spread all over your house. But, but keep them everywhere because if they're not where you're, where you're going or where you are, then you're not going to use them. So yeah. I love that you shared that early. Jerry says she loves her balance too. Yes. Yes. We heart balance. We do. Um, okay. Well, we're going to sign off now. We hope that you guys will stay tuned for us next week. If you can't join us live and you need to catch the recording, you can register at bit.ly forward slash forward slash sun night live 
and you can register there and you can get the recording straight to your inbox. Um, okay, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next right, time. Bye guys, have a good Bye.